right, race fans, we have quite the lineup today. We have the Sand Scorcher, absolutely beautiful model. Probably not going to do great on this course because it's got a locked rear end and those tires are not really made for grass. And then we got the Grasshopper. It is absolutely insane because I have a 19 turn Trinity Camellia motor in it and it's fast but not very controllable. So they both should handle absolutely terribly around this course and with any luck we'll be able to get 10 laps. Now I have added a plastic bumper around the fire pit to keep damage down and I put a permanent stake out there I can just slide a cone over that way I don't have to measure it off every time. So let's get the, uh, these guys lined up and see what happens. We are back, and the results are in. These classic buggies gave it their all, and let's see where they landed on the board. Though so we had the grasshopper, and the grasshopper, if I can keep this thing in a straight line, it'll go pretty good, but that's the problem. It is bouncy, and it does not steer well, which made it very difficult to get around the track for 10 laps, but we got it done. And this one's seen some, some action. If you look, there is glue and drywall tape just holding this whole body together this thing has been beaten pretty hard but it, it still drives pretty good it's got a fairly new set of gears in the transmission and it had a fastest lap of 5.70 and an average lap time of 6.51 so while it's not going to make it very high up on the board it's a classic. We had to give it a run. I didn't think it was going to do that excellent anyway. Uh, 5.70. It's just between the, the Scorpion and the Bullhead. We'll scoot those on down.
And there it has earned its place on the board. And then we got the Sand Scorcher. And the Scorcher was fun to drive. It had that posi track rear end, so I couldn't go too fast around the corners. And it was just running a silver cam motor. But for being something meant to be on sand, running it on grass, it, it drove fairly well and it was fun to drive. And it did a fastest lap of 5.46 seconds. So it did beat the Grasshopper and the fastest lap. And it had an average time of 5.88 seconds. So it beat the Grasshopper and the average too. Well, that's going to land our Scorcher. Let's move. We move King Yellow up. We got a little room up there. Well, Hopper wants to hang on for the ride. That should move Mr. Scorcher right there, though. Oh, the <laughs> it's kind of working its way on down there, isn't it? Well, I'll get that uh, magnet on there a little bit better and get those straightened back out for the next race. We still got the WL Toys 124019 and the Tamiya MF01X. Uh, we'll get those loaded up, and I'll get that uploaded sometime. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope to catch you on the next one.